Hello, I just wanted to bop on here tonight as I was able to do a Costco run and a Trader Joe's run this week ahead of our challenge starting. And I wanted to share some of the simple, quick, uh, convenient snack items that I generally pick up from each of those places before I do a challenge month. So I'm gonna start with Costco. Um, I was there today and one of my favorite easy snacks are these organic hard-boiled eggs. Two eggs per pack, um, one egg is 68 calories and I love to sprinkle a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's or a splash of hot sauce on top and that's a super easy convenient snack um, and a great calorie range as well. And it's filling and it's a lot of protein. So that's one of my favorites. We also grabbed these at Costco today. So these are the Made Good Granola Bites. Um, there are 90 calories per serving. This one's the berry, this one's the chocolate chip. Again, these are very easy to just grab and go as I'm running out the door and realizing I'm gonna be missing a snack. And um, they are not the most filling snacks, but they are very convenient and a good um, calorie count there as well. Um, the other couple things I always grab ahead of time at Costco are there, they have a fancy mixed nut mix and it comes in like a tub and then I order these individual like condiment cups on either Amazon or I buy them at Target sometimes too and I just go through the tub of mixed nuts and I portion them out like this so that I have quick and easy to grab little containers of mixed nuts. I keep these in the freezer. Um, I just kind of like them that way. It preserves them a little longer. And one tub is about $16 at our Costco here, but um, it lasts, it makes about 50 of these. So such a great snack option, high protein, um, filling, and they give you that sort of satiate that crunch craving. So I love those. The other thing I always pick up at um, Costco are these little hummus ones. Um, I pretty much always have mini carrots on hand for challenge uh, months and so these little hummuses are great to dip those in and um, one container is about 160 calories so a little bit over your uh, goal of like 100 to 150 but I don't generally eat the whole thing either because I'm kind of over the snack or the carrots by the time I eat one of these anyways. Um, and then moving on to Trader Joe's. So I always grab a bag of apples at Trader Joe's. Apples are a great snack, like half an apple with a little bit of almond butter or something like that. But they're also, you can have half, an, half of an apple eaten throughout a whole day on cleanse day. I usually prefer like a tart apple, but they only had gala ones this time, so I grabbed those. Um, and so you can take one half apple, slice it up, and then just eat it when you're feeling those cravings uh, to eat something throughout a cleanse day. So always have apples. <laughs> Snacks and cleanse survival. Um, okay, another thing I always grab at Trader Joe's is the um, brown rice rice cakes. So I love rice cakes because I use them almost like bread. So I will do like a sandwich sort of thing on there, um, maybe some hummus with a slice of meat and some avocado or something, but I make avocado toast with them or I'll put a quarter of an avocado and then of course my everything but the bagel seasoning on top or some hot sauce. Um, you can put, thread them with almond butter, all sorts of things and they're tasty um, and they kind of take the place of bread without the calories. So another great option with them. This is one of my favorite things and my girlfriend Sarah recommended it to me. Um, the spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip from Trader Joe's. It is packed with protein, uh, two tablespoons is 30 calories and it's so yummy. It's made with yogurt rather than sort of sour cream or mayonnaise um, and it's delicious. I use carrots with it, I dip celery in it, cucumbers, whatever. The other really great one at Trader Joe's is their tzatziki. I didn't get it this time, but um, it's a great option too. And a little bit more caloric than this one and less protein. So I generally try and get this one, but to switch it up, the tzatziki is a great option as well. And then last but not least, I've mentioned it a couple times, the everything but the bagel seasoning. The best, I put it on everything and I just love it. So that's my haul. I am pretty much ready for 
um, the challenge to start next week, I'll probably pick up a bag of salad and some of those little individual packs of tuna, um, another great snack option on the go. But other than that, this is pretty much it. So I would love to hear some of your snack recommendations. Um, it's so fun to find new ones and hear about what works for other people.